Hi Capricorn! Welcome back to the channel. Thanks Capricorns ever so much. I had a great time with you yesterday and I sure appreciate all your likes and your comments and your contributions to the channel. You guys are absolutely amazing and I truly appreciate you know that Capricorn. And um, I was telling, I did Sagittarian's video and I was taking out the trash and I go, that's exactly what needs to happen here. So don't be surprised if I don't title the video the same as Sagittarians. It is about removing the trash from uh, Capricorn's lives, from many signs are being affected with the same type of energies. So just be aware of that. You're not alone, Sag. Capricorn, Gemini, Librans, the people that I'm reading for. It's a cycle that... I can't explain. I'm not sure what's going on. It could be planetary, but I'm not an astronomer or astrologer. But uh, there's a lot of similarities going on with the zodiac signs. And this is about literally getting rid of the trash out of your life, whatever that means to you. It does not have to mean a person, but it could. But it is getting rid of the clutter and the garbage that no longer is serving you. And to allow um, this new vitality, this new energy back into uh, Capricorn's life. And let's just see what the messages are. It is garbage day for me. That's what struck me. So I'm like, you're absolutely right. And including me. I got to get rid of the clutter and the garbage that I've been putting off with and thoughts and, you know, it's garbage day. They went to the curb, it went in the garbage can and it's going to be hauled away. So that's what I'm focusing in on and I know it's going to apply to a lot of Capricorns. So let's just see, Cappies, what we have today. It's about seeking. You're seeking something. Believe and succeed. And reaching out to others. New experiences. It's a three card. Choose your battle. So this came for Capricorn uh, in several reads now. There's some type of battle that you're going through or facing challenging people perhaps challenging times and it is about seeking what are they seeking yeah choose your battles you're going through challenging times yeah your dreams are coming true copies new beginning that's the clutter that's the garbage that's removing what do you want to battle in life you know you're going through challenging times get rid of the crap that no longer serves you because your dreams are coming true wow seek and ye shall find i guess it's about getting your balance back giving and receiving and choosing where you focus your energy. What do you want to, where do you want to spend your energy? Figure it out and then take it out to the curb, you know, throw it in the trash because that's where it belongs. Unless your, uh, your dreams are coming true. So we don't really need to be taking on other people's battles or energies. Be careful who you're doing battle with you're going through some challenging times take out the trash because you will succeed and reach out to others like if you need a helping hand just reach out to others and ask because that card is here and know that your dreams are coming true where do you infest your energy like do you really want to go to battle and fight and argue and all? Take it to the curb. 
Capricorns. Yeah, it's about uh, rejecting of an offer, not accepting an offer. What about this? Yeah, some type of breakup, split up, separation. Uh, an offer me if uh, someone wants to reach out with some type of offer. It's a stable offer. Or you're reaching out. Let's just see where this is going because that's your Ten of Pentacles. Your dreams are coming true. It may seem slow coming, but they're coming. Choose your battles. This is saying to be courageous and strong. Uh, something very painful, perhaps, or something came to a painful ending. And know that someone is watching. Could be something to do with work but you're feeling wounded and you're making a decision you're holding back or holding on to some type of burden that's the challenging times <clears throat> this burden card things are changing it's a five card so you go from like this ten of wands energy feeling heavily burdened you might just simply be working too hard Capricorns you're going through some challenging times but this is changing that's the five card yeah you're going to go and have some fun you'll be celebrating something your dreams are coming true you're working hard and you might just be having a lot of work issues here but you are on a new cycle with the world. Mm, that wants to appear. I'm going to take it. That's healing. That is being guided. That is working on something that puts you in the spotlight. You makes you very happy. Your dreams are coming true. And this is your dreams coming true. Now, I can't make this up. This comes every single day for you. So, I don't know what Capricorn this is for, or many of you, but your dreams are coming true. This is great hope, great faith, and a lot of joy and happiness. That's your dream coming true. And somebody <clears throat> is angry, sad, about a family situation, but you get your Ten of Cups. You might be sad, but you're getting your Ten of Cups by taking out the trash getting rid of things that no longer serve you take it to the curb get back your passion get back your fun loving ways go out and have some fun call a friend message somebody that you enjoy go do something fun because you don't see this coming but you are getting a passionate new beginning with look at you stable financially stable your wishes are coming true you're on getting a passionate new beginning oh, oh, oh. and it may be uh you're getting some type of message coming in seek now i got this the other day for you that someone is seeking you out for a lot of Capricorns, this is someone from your childhood. I'm not talking about the evil ex. A lot of people are confusing those reads and getting all disgruntled about them. I'm not talking about the evil one. I'm talking about somebody from way, way back is seeking you out. They want to talk to you. They have, they're very emotional perhaps, or they have a lot of love for you. They could be an actual emperor, someone in a boss position. It could be a past employer, for that matter. Um, and that's the danger of not watching the entire videos. And I know that a lot of people don't. They might watch, you know, seven minutes or so of a video. And then they get upset because they didn't hear the entire read. So... To get accurate information, you got to listen to the videos. But um, 
you don't see this coming but there's someone out there that's seeking you out they want to message you and they have a lot of love that's the queen of cups and the emperor now it could actually be a past employer it could that fulfills your wishes your dreams this passionate new beginning it makes you very happy it could be like a past boss it could be an aries it could be someone with just that energy of the emperor it could be for some a father it could be someone just in who's the king of kings or the queen of queens whatever they're in control they they know what they want and they've been seeking you out capricorn there's many many messages here for many different capricorns for some of you there's a boss figure that's trying to find you they want to message you they've been looking for you a past employer someone who sits on their throne like in authority position it could be a father for some it could be an aries for others or just the energy of someone who's in total control knowing what they want who is this emperor what about this they know you're a hard worker they know you're it's someone from your childhood I'm telling you guys it's someone from your past they know you're you're valuable and you know what you're a valuable employee it could be a past employer for some of you you haven't talked to this person but you may have actually if it's an employer you may have lost your job somehow because of uh, some type of illness it could even be due to covid and now they want to get a hold of you or they're strategizing somebody might be ill as well somebody from your childhood somebody from your past and they're trying to get a hold of you hmm let's just find out more information about this your dreams are coming true that's all i know there could be travel involved and to take on this playful energy to go and have some fun to go enjoy yourself to go out kick up your heels have a little fun this person let's see what tell me more about this seat card for capricorn other messages for other capricorns concerning this well we have an emperor and an empress And that's why my throat chakra was closing off because they're not good at communication. They're not good at expressing themselves. And uh, they made a decision somehow. But they were stuck. But they want to offer that's removing the trash again cutting things out of your life that no longer serve you tell me more about this what is this you're at a distance or they're waiting they've been waiting or you're waiting it's also it's picking up on energies about the past person because you're supposed to take out the trash <laughs> for some Capricorn 
cards. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to offend anybody. But it's there. It's cutting out things that no longer serve you. But it for others, somebody is seeking you out. Somebody wants to message you and it keeps coming through. And it's someone from the past. It's someone from your childhood for some. For some, it's a past employer. It's from somebody you may have lost your job with and it's left you like in poverty or left you in poverty because of due to some illness but someone's seeking you out they may want to travel to come and see you to go and have some fun and it's innocent fun but they want growth with you they see you as the empress they're not good at expressing themselves they do a lot of thinking. They're trapped in their mind about you. They can't forget you. Page of Pentacles. They want to make an offer to come and say something, to speak to you, to communicate. They're honest. This person is being honest. It's also about Capricorns removing the clutter, the trash from their lives and leaving it out on the curb. It's also for some, somebody is trying to contact you to find you, they're seeking you out. And uh, they may be at a distance for you or they've been waiting to talk to you. They're afraid you might reject them. Who is this? Who is this person? wheel of fortune they're hoping that luck is in their favor to find you mm, judgment here some okay for some capricorns they want to reconcile i can't get that storyline out of this situation for some capricorns the past wants to reconcile for other capricorns You're going to re reject an offer or s someone made a judgment call because the wheel of fortune is here with the judgment. And you get this success, this happiness, this abundance, this something you've been passionate about. Your dreams are coming true. So if somebody had a long lost love that they truly loved and for whatever reason you were separated from now take this as it resonates it is for those who are seeking this partner it is for partners that are seeking you vice versa somebody wants a coming together they want to come and see you they've been trying to message you they've been trying to get a hold of you now for other capricorns it's about an employer somebody's trying to find you you haven't talked to this person for a long time. They're from your past. And for others of you, it's talking about moving forward. And you've made a judgment call. And you're focusing in on your dreams. And your dreams are coming true. You've got the wheel of fortune in your favor. It's stardom. It's like... If that's your wishes coming true it's great hope great faith happiness joy abundance a passionate new beginning for your life wow is there any other info yeah equal balance equal after this ending you're transforming you are completely transforming you're manifesting and you're going for it whatever this is to capricorn you're going for it you're like gone <laughs> look at that self-love new love whoever this is you're like i'm going i'm not staying stuck i'm not staying in this energy the towers i've got the truth i'm not gonna be breadcrumbed i'm looking for my new soulmate <laughs> capricorns you guys are hilarious you're like, gone. Here I go. <laughs> You're manifesting it. 
And when you get it, you're gone. You're like, you don't even hesitate. You're jumping off that cliff. And you're going, this is my dream. This is my wish come true. This is everything that I've been waiting for. I'm going for it. I don't know what it is. It'll be different for all copies, but it's very positive and it's something you love. You're just like, gone. <laughs> Capricorn? Capricorn who? I thought I just saw them here. No, they're gone. <laughs> because you get a higher view, uh, a higher perspective. You've been broken open, man. And it's beyond the ordinary. It's great and full, whatever it is. Look at that cup overflowing. Whatever it is, don't know. For some, it's a divine union. For others, it's a soulmate. For others of you, it's career. Whatever your project is, whatever you've been trying to create, it's big, it's full, and it's abundant. And you're going like, go on! I thought I just saw Capricorn. No, they're gone. Mm-hmm. Great big love. <laughs> Can't make it up. Capricorn, your dreams are coming true. Whatever it is, it's going to be different for all Capricorns, but whatever it is, it's something that you've got a lot of love for. It's great and full, and it is beyond the ordinary. It's success for many Capricorns. The wheel of fortune, your luck is about to change. Your circumstances are changing. And whatever it is, you are going for it, Cappies. I love you.